before the state safety stop for bicyclists is now the law in Colorado. It allows cyclists to roll right through stop signs and treat a red light as a stop sign. News 5's Ashley Portillo joins us live from downtown Colorado Springs to break down the new law and more with what the local biking community and law enforcement are saying. Ashley. Allison and Diane, good afternoon. So right now I'm in an area, this part of downtown, downtown Colorado Springs is an area where many people are getting around by riding a bike and the biking community is actually for this legislation. Meanwhile, local law enforcement have voiced their concerns. Before the law was signed, a bicyclist followed the laws like driving a car. Being at an intersection, sometimes there's not a full bike lane for the cyclists, so I have to kind of, you know, wedge right up against traffic. For bicyclists, the stop signs now treated like yield signs and red lights treated as a stop sign. Meanwhile, Abraham Schubarth rides his bike to work almost every day. Now I feel a lot safer. I feel like I can get out of the way of traffic. I don't have to worry about being in the way and the motorists don't feel like I'm in the way. But not everyone is for the legislation. In a committee hearing earlier this session, a CSPD commander testified against the bill, saying the size of our community, the volume of traffic and the speed of vehicles makes this legislation a bad policy for Colorado Springs. He added between July 2015 and June 2020, Colorado Springs had 338 bicycle crashes at intersections and bicyclists were at fault for 43 percent of those crashes. But now the legislation allows bicyclists to move quickly through intersections and reduce the amount of time spent there. The majority of accidents with bicycles occur at intersections and this keeps them from waiting at intersections. Kathy Buckley is the director of campus safety at Colorado College. Here on campus we also have people on skateboards, electric scooters and wheelchairs and this law affects all of those categories. And per the law, bicyclists have to make sure the intersection is clear, but there's also responsibility on the driver's part. We need to be very aware that this is a change to the behavior and a change to ways that we interact with them. Aware of the change and a reminder to share the road. So I think it's going to really make things more efficient and more safe for everyone. And another concern here is that police say it would be hard and difficult to determine who is at fault in all of those bicycle related crashes. Meanwhile, the city of Manitou Springs implemented the safety stop law back in late 2021. In Colorado Springs, I'm Ashley Portillo, News 5.